Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Star Stable Experience. We're starting off right away. I did some uh, off-screen reputation uh, work with the bridge and we have unlocked the next part of the quest for that. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start with that because I'm sure we'll see how far we can get with it. I doubt we'll kind of get it much further than this one, but we might as well uh, start this so we have it going. This is going really well. Now we need to keep going. There's only the last part... The last stage of the repairs left. Come on now, Sandra. Together we can get this done. Soon you'll be able to ride over the bridge, through Greendale, out to the coast, and the whole way to Yarlheim and Jorvik stables. Now the last thing we will need to do is secure the cables to the pillars that hold up the bridge, but right now they are still too unstable. To make this work, we need to solidify the foundation a bit. And when that is done, we can connect the cables between the pillars and the foundation. So first we will need to mark off where the foundation should be. Take these marking sticks and put them down in the ground in the right spots. All right, let's go do that. Right there and right there. Excellent, now we can start fixing the foundations. Oh, and we got a milestone on the Trailblazer track. Let's go and I can claim daily stuff. Might as well claim that. Why not? I haven't... Obviously, it's not that far along. My main account isn't really that far either. <laughs> uh, all right. Cement lesson part one. <laughs> now it's time to begin building the foundations. For that, we need cement. So now we have to come, come to mixing the cement. I have both good and bad news for you. <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, the good news is that I am an expert in mixing cement. Best grades at my university. The bad news is I get dizzy so easily that I, if even... If I even see a cement mixer spinning, I faint. Pretty much on the spot. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you exactly what to do, Sandra. You're going to be an expert in no time at all. We will start with a little bit of cement, and later, when you know what you're doing, you can mix as much as you want. Step one when you are making cement is to pour the cement into the cement mixer. There are stacks of cement near here. Take them and pour them in the cement mixer over there. The cement powder should go in that gray funnel. All right, so let's get the... Cement. Do I need to be off my horse for this or... No. Okay. Perfect. Alright. And there we go. Did that. Awesome. Good. It wasn't that hard, was it? I mean, no. <laughs> the other thing we need when mixing cement is water. Just normal water. It is a long way down to the water here, but I drew threw down a hose and was lucky to hit the water. <laughs> The hose is connected to a pump so you can get water there. Yes, I know I should be able to do it, but the pump is so close to the edge that I just can't go anywhere near it again. Oh my gosh, how does this dude do all this stuff? Take the bucket and fill it with water. Then you pour the water into the blue funnel on the cement mixer. Pretty easy, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it seemed pretty easy to me. There we go. We got the bucket filled. Now we just put it in. There we go. That went well. It wasn't too difficult, right? No, not at all. There, now the cement mixer is working as it should. Now it is time to see how it turned out. Are you curious? I'm really excited. There's a bucket over there. Pour the cement into it and bring it here so I can see how it turned out. All right, let's get, so we need the, okay, got it, awesome. There we go. Let me see, that cement is perfect. You have a real talent for this, I have to say. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're still an inexperienced cement mixer, so to make sure you don't cause a disaster for the whole project, Unfortunately, I just can't let you use the cement mixer whenever you like. I can let you have it once a day. Any more than that would be, and we would be putting the whole project at risk. You might think this is just old superstition, but I don't think we should take any risks. I mean, sure. Do I have the cement? Can I use it? Nope, I have to do it. <laughs> All right, mix your own cement. So let's mix the cement so we can actually uh, get some and put in there. Oh, and apparently my horse can get some XP, too. I should probably, uh, do that. And 
Boom. Now I need water, right? Let's get us some water. There we go. go we just mix the cement up now oh i felt my back crack and it felt good <gasps> there we go we made some cement cement looks great sandra <laughs> all right all right use the cement here all right so we need to use the cement over here Okay, I have to get off my horse to do this. Okay, fair enough. I guess I... Fine. I did everything else without being getting off my horse. <laughs> Alright, and then we have one more. There we go. We did that. Alright, and now we can do more to, more to do the repair the bridge today, but um, I think uh, I'm going to save the rest. Again, I'll do some more reputation stuff off screen. I won't do any of the like, actual questing parts of it until uh, I am on camera. So uh, we'll do that. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Silverglade and do some more stuff over there. Um, but there is actually uh, one thing I wanted to do, I remember. I was looking through the global store and I thought I saw some parts of an outfit that I liked. Um, some stuff for our horse uh, that I kind of wanted to try. So because I was thinking you guys. Yeah, you can see it. OK, normally where that is, is my chat sits there. So um, I was either like that saddle or this saddle. I don't know which one I want more. I kind of see. I tend to like those better, but I feel like this one goes better. I might go. With, I think I'm gonna go with that one. And then in terms of leg wraps, we can do those, which I really like. And then in regards to clothing, there is actually some stuff that seems like it goes pretty darn well. Uh, with this, um, yeah, that, those are what I want. Okay. Um, let's see, where are the gloves that I liked? Right there. I don't know. I think this looks pretty good. I think it's a pretty nice little outfit to start. I like it. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, we'll use shillings as much as we can. And, uh, then we'll go from there. It's not too expensive either, it looks like. Except until you get to that. <laughs> Alright, and then horse gear. Show previewed only. Uh, oh, wait, why is that one? I already have the horseshoes. I don't know why that's uh, showing. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead. And do that. Buy all of this stuff. And then we use star coins on that. There, awesome. Put this outfit on too because i want i i was kind of wanting a new outfit for both me and the horse so i think this is a really nice one to start you know i like it i like it quite a bit i think it looks good i think it looks good all right but now with that we are going to go over back to silverglade let's take the trailer back over there and let's do some more questing around there there's quite a few things to do um so we definitely got some stuff to work towards here. So, <laughs> uh, so let's see what we can find. There's of course a quest right over here. So I guess let's start with that. Um, I guess I don't know where the, uh, oh, you know, actually there's the quest with Harold. That was a daily thing. I kind of want to start that. So let's go back to Harold and we'll do that. Cause we had to wait for that. So let me go ahead and do that. Once a month, we deliver a jar of cookies to the castle. These cardamom cookies are greatly appreciated by the Baroness. Will you take them over there, please? Ride them on the be that beautiful horse of yours, and you'll get there in no time. All right, so we take them to the castle, right? It said castle? I'm pretty sure it said castle. Pretty sure that's what it said. Not that it shows me anything.
Nobody is answering the door. There's nothing to do but head back to the store. Unless you want to try one of those cardamom cookies. They smell divine. As nobody's answering the door, I guess the best thing to do is head back to the store. Alright. I don't know if you heard it, though, as we approached it. I heard it for a minute, but I didn't hear it after that. It sounded like we could hear someone. Almost like crying, it sounded like. The castle was closed. Nobody answered the door. You know, lately there have been some rumors about that place. Someone said they heard what sounded like a young girl crying. Frankly, I don't know what to think. Lately, the Baroness seemed anxious. Have I heard the crying? I can't say I have. Actually, it kind of sounds like a silly ghost story to me. The Baroness's family, the Silverglades, run way back in history. They have been the most influential family in Jorvik since I don't know when. Maybe hundreds of years? Here are some wine bottle samples that the Baroness has requested. See if you can deliver them to the butler. He should be at the vineyard. Ride carefully. The bottles are fragile. Alright. My horse cannot gallop. Yes, I can. I'm galloping right now. <laughs> Game, I think you lied to me. I'm galloping. Uh... Hey, Shasta. How you doing, girl? Hey, pretty girl. <laughs> She's like, why are you talking to yourself again? Why are you doing it? Why? I just got done with the stream, so she's just like, I thought you were done with this for the night. <laughs> I was like, no. Oh, she's gonna get her toy. All right, our first trip to the vineyard, though, here. <laughs> Hi, Shasta, how you doing, baby girl? How's you, sweetie? How's my sweetie? <laughs> she's just like, you're crazy, mom. Talking to yourself. Chest, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to all the lovely viewers out there. All right, and Godfrey. Miss? Oh, the bottles. The bottle samples. Great, thank you. What? Yes, the winter has been hard indeed, for the manor as well. How's the Baroness? You heard that she was very busy. I see. Well, one could say that she's had a lot on her mind lately, with GED explaining the land and all. She's building a new racetrack as well, which of course takes... Okay, I'll get... Hang on. <gasps> One minute, let me finish this dialogue. <laughs> Can I finish this dialogue? <gasps> uh, which of course takes a lot of time and effort, but I'll see that she gets these. Certainly, miss. Goodbye. All right. And we got another milestone. Uh, I will grab that in a minute. I'm going to let the dog out real quick, though, because she needs to go outside. All right, gang, we are back. So let's go ahead. We'll claim this other thing on the Trailblazer track here. Um, but let's keep talking to Godfrey here. Sorry? A stable? Why, of course we have a stable here. The Silverglade Equestrian Center, the noblest stable in Jorvik, miss. You come from Moreland? Well, you should indeed pay a visit to the Equestrian Center. It, has ha it houses some of the best performing horses on the island. Why don't you speak to Linda? Hold on, what am I saying? Not Linda. Huh, not Linda, miss. There are other stable girls over there, however. I think one of them is called Judy. Judy will be able to help you. Interesting that he said not to speak to Linda. And of course we see somebody roaming around over here. Hi, Sandra. Of course I know who you are. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Judy, by the way. I spoke to Thomas Moreland earlier and he told me that you and Ruby Dreamer are really great together. Like you've truly bonded. That makes me happy since Ruby Dreamer is the horse I used to ride when I first started out as a stable girl at Moreland. He's a wonderful horse and deserves a rider that understands him. Anyway, we're short on people here since Linda went away. Thomas said that if you happen to come by, I should ask you if you would be willing to help out a bit here. I mean, of course, I'm always happy to assist. Have you met the Baroness yet? No, it doesn't surprise me. She's been almost hysterical lately. At least the times I have seen her. It seems like she's spending more and more time inside the castle. God knows what she's doing. Will you please help out in the stable until Thomas needs you again? I mean, sure. Thanks. Okay, so what I need you to do is give the horses hay and water, groom them, and muck out the boxes. You can do this whenever you feel it's needed. You'll find detailed information on the notice board in the yard. I will be around if you need anything, but I doubt that you will have any problems. You look like a smart girl. I mean, I, I think I know what I'm doing. 
<laughs> what we actually need help with, though, are the water pipes from the irrigation system in the fields. We just turned the water on, and now the pipes are leaking. There must have, they must have cracked during the hard winter. Do you think you could try to locate the leaks? Right over there on Ruby Dreamer, the terrain is a bit troublesome to walk on for walk on for you and me. When we find a leak, turn the faucet to stop the water at that spot. Okay. Let's go find some leaks. Uh, we'll kind of make a circle, I guess. It's probably the best way to do this, maybe. Yep, there's one right there. Alright, there's that one. There's that. Alright. Next. Uh, should be around here, right? Oh, excuse me, my gosh. Alright, there we go. Closing all the leak ones with leaks. There we go. Like, those are big cracks, too. Like, those are giant. Sass, are you good over there? What's she doing? <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, you got your toy. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> She's got her toy. It's fine. She's got her toy. I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> All right, there's that. <laughs> Get this one and then one more. Bring it in here now. <laughs> there we go. All of them have been closed. <laughs> you guys might hear some squeaks starting here in a second. <laughs> or just snorting from the dog. <gasps> Alright, I know I'm taking an odd path back, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'll have to collect the bottle, because... Hey, we can use those later on. <laughs> you found all the leaks? Fantastic. I can't begin to tell you how happy I am to have you here. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, there we go. We got that one all done. Now, let's see, we have a quest with Carney here as well. Um, let's see, should I do that or should I go back to Silverglade? There's a lot of stuff to do in Silverglade. Uh, okay, these are all, these are main quests, so yeah, I guess we could do that. We can do one of these. Let's see, taking soil samples. I heard you were riding around, I was hoping that I could ask you for a favor. The thing is, we're doing some tests on the soil around the vineyards, vineyards, and the results should be ready by now. Could you check them for me, please? Sure. I'll do it. I will do it. Let's go and check them out. Oh, man. <laughs> you don't get back there, girl? Hi. <laughs> She's a funny dog. She's just like, are you done yet? <laughs> Sorry, girly, not quite. Inspecting. Inspecting, and then of course there's one down here. <laughs> there we go. Can I get up from there, or maybe? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. <gasps> Alright, cool. <laughs> Get 
can never tell because it's like it's always it's just a little like is it blocked off i'm not sure <laughs> i do like this outfit though by the way i think uh it's a good little first outfit for us i like it i like the saddle pad specifically <laughs> the saddle pad i like a lot so all right Interesting, very interesting. Thank you so much for helping me with this. Absolutely. All right, and then on this next one. Do you know what? Could you get me a shoot from one of the grapevines as well? We'll perform tests on that too. Use these garden shears. I asked Sonia to look, but she couldn't find any. <laughs> Sonia couldn't find any, so apparently I am the one they're tasking with this. Someone with no experience can find one over uh, Sonia, who has lived here, like, her entire life. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Sandra. You've been so helpful. Awesome. All right. Well, we have been very helpful already around Silk Glade, which is good. All right. I think it looks like she has enough quests for us now. Judy does. The plumber on horseback. Here are some tools that you can use to fix the leaky pipes. All right, let's go fix some leaky pipes. <laughs> uh, let's go the other way this time, actually. I kind of want to... Let's go the other way. Let's uh, go backwards. Sorry, I'm watching my dog. <gasps> she decided she's laying beside the door, I guess. <gasps> that is not the right way. <laughs> that is a dead end. <gasps> Pay attention, Sandra. Pay attention to where you're going and not to your dog, even though you love your dog very, very much. Um, okay. Okay, technically the other one's over here, so I probably should have just went down the path, but, you know, it's fine. Apparently I'm a plumber now. <laughs> I am a plumber now, everybody. Plumber on horseback. <laughs> All right, and that fly it keeps flying around, bothering me. Oh. Guess as long as it doesn't fly in front of the camera and block it, I guess we're good. But if it does that, I'm not even gonna know. Probably until I look and it's like, oh, there's a fly there. Oh. No idea how long he's been there. Because, of course, they have to be attracted to the light. And, of course, there's a light on the camera. <gasps> oh. Alright, there's that one. Two more. And there's that one, and one more, which is all the way over here. There. There we go, we got all of those fixed, which is good. Awesome, we can go back to Judy and tell her, hey, all the piping has been fixed by someone who's really not qualified to do it, but uh, we're, we're gonna ignore that fact. Because clearly our character can do everything. <laughs> oh great let's hope that the pipes don't need fixing for a while we've got other more important things to do <gasps> gotcha all right but i think guys that will be a good place to end this part off so hopefully you guys did enjoy this uh episode if you did make sure you hit that like button before you go also hit the subscribe button if you're new here and you want to see more fun content uh but with that guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time